Football's a non-contact sport. Well, that's a pity. You're not allowed to push, shove, or take the ball out of an opponent's hands? Got it. Our ball, penalty pass, black! What now? The goal doesn't count. You were offside, you ran with the ball, and you were out of position. Perhaps you should have watched us all the fins a bit more closely. So much for impressing her, eh? What are these? Your messages. Avril hasn't been answering her phone, so all your calls have been stepping down to my extension. Hey. I am not your glorified answering machine. I'm sorry, I didn't realise this was happening. Errol hasn't come in today. Why, is she sick? I've got no idea. She didn't call. No, she's probably done herself an injury on those ridiculous stilettos. I'll chase Avril up myself, and in the meantime, I'll make sure someone covers the phones. Thank you. Bob, please. Oh. There he is. It's now or never. I can't watch. I'll be in the kitchen. You went. Ah, oh. oh, Waverly, there you are. And the precious Tina, how is she? <laughs> <laughs> Just fine, thanks. Um, Sticky, there's something I needed oh. to... Oh, uh, sorry, just what I remember. Sticky, hurry up. I think there's something Waverly wants to say to us. It just to Sticky, actually. Um, you know how I've always said that I was never ready for grandchildren? Well, I'd hate to think that you thought that that's how I felt about kids in general. Right, because, I mean, once they're here, you love them anyway, don't you? And Tina knows, don't you? You know how much your Auntie Bob loves you, and she does it. Please, uh, I need your approval. Oh, much? What's this? Well, I hope you don't mind, but I took the liberty of opening a bank account for Tina. <laughs> oh, Sticky, thank you, but you re... Goodness. It's my first act as godparent. I'm going to put a little in every birthday and teach you the value of savings. Yeah, and I'd be happy to put in a little bit as well. Oh, that's so kind of you. Both of you. <laughs> now you said you had something you wanted to say to me. Yes. Um, you ordered a latte, didn't you? Uh, no, an English breakfast tea. Oh, there you go then. That's where the whole mix-ups occurred. So I'll just go and sort that out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for the game, guys. I really enjoyed wiping the court with you. Next time, we will show them. <laughs> no way, man. I've had enough humiliation to last me a lifetime. So, I guess I'm not the next Silver Fern. Not even close. Have I got any chance of making the team? Don't treat me like an idiot, Jake. You've had your fun. Let's just leave it at that. That's not a joke. I want to play. Why? Craig and Dupree are making me join an extracurricular activity. Craig? My father. I'm not built for rugby. I'm sick of soccer. And as you can see, I'm way too cool for the chess club. There are plenty of other options. But not for meeting this one special girl there aren't. This isn't a dating agency, Jake. I need dedicated players. OK, so maybe I signed up for the wrong reasons, but when I was out there on that court, I, I really got into it. Give me another chance. You'll practice after school and learn the rules. Whatever it takes. Show me your fingernails. Good. First game's on Saturday. I'm in? You're on the bench. Here. Get Craig to sign the consent form. Do I have to? If you're really serious about this, yes, you do. Yeah, I thought you could use this. Thank you. You all right? Caught it in my. No, it's okay, Dad. You've got enough to deal with. I could use the distraction. What happened? Maya told me to go back to Sydney. <laughs> Why? 
because I haven't made any friends here and she thinks that I'm jealous because she has. No. No, it just hasn't exactly turned out, you know, how I thought it would. Yeah, and you're not as happy as I'd like you to be. So, what are you saying? You think I should nap off too? It's the last thing I want. I love having you here, but... But what? I'll try not to bite my head off, okay? All right. But what I see is a hugely talented young woman who's lost direction. And I don't just mean university. Yeah, I know what you mean, Dad. Guess what? I got a job offer at my old university. It's a tutorship in the music department. Well, why don't you tell me? Because I'm going to turn it down. Why? Dad, what kind of daughter would I be if I left you now, hmm? I wouldn't hold that against you. I've got Te and Tum, and besides, Sydney's not so far away, we couldn't keep in touch. Nah, I want to be here for you. I'm here, but miserable. You really think that's going to help me? Well, sounds like you've made up your mind. You and Maya, great. You both want me gone. Cool. I just want you to be happy, that's all. Maybe Maya wants the same. So you're not firing Sticky then? No, 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 you're right. I mean, he has all the qualities of the ideal godparent. Not to mention a generous streak. It's got nothing to do with it. It doesn't. Of course not. It's just by sheer coincidence that you changed your mind when you handed over this bank statement. It was the first time I had spoken to him and it struck me how much he cares about Tina. And he'll probably never have kids of his own. So... Steady on, he's only in his 30s. Yeah, but when you've seen his taste in women, I mean, Barb was how many years older than I? No, 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 look, that's not the issue. The fact is you nagged me to drop I didn't sticking. didn't nag. Because you said that Tina could only have one godfather. What happens now? Are you going to call up Alf and give him the heave home? Uh, can you sign this before you go? What is it? It's consent form. I joined the sports team, mate. You want it? About time. You playing on the wing again? Uh, yep. When's the first game, mate? Saturday. I'll be there. Uh, hang on a second. There's something wrong here. It's just for netball. That's right. The netball's a girls' game. Very funny joke, but I haven't got time for jokes. Who's joking? We wanted me to do extracurricular, so I am. No, 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 but you said you were playing on the wing. Uh, wing attack. Uh, uh, nice try, but you should have gone for something really absurd like water belly. So it's it's okay for Scarlett to play cricket, but it's absurd for me to play netball? What kind of hypocrite are you? He's got a point, Dad. You're serious. Fine. If you want to play netball, play netball. First game Saturday afternoon. I'm working. But you said you'd be there. Yeah, that was before. Okay. You had better not be wearing a skirt. 